Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hezbollah with another new video of CSS SAP 2000 version 20. In our previous lecture, I have shown you that how we will assign earthquake load on our structure. And in this lecture, I am just going to show that how we will assign wind load on our structure. Okay, so to, to assign wind load on our structure, what we will do actually? Here, we have to change that data. We have to change that data and when we change that data, we will get our result here for software input. Okay, and um, we will input that data in our software. And now the question is, who is following that uh, software, I mean Excel software, this software following uh, BNBC 2017 ASC 705, ASC 710, ASC 710 and also SCI. So, by using that code, we can, I mean for that code, we can use that and we can modify that and here, every data is available, okay, and uh, you are from Bangladesh, if you are from Bangladesh, then you are welcome, you are able to use that file, Excel file perfectly without changing anything but if you are from other country then you have to modify that excel sheet and if you need that excel sheet and also if you need the need uh, earthquake load as excel sheet then you have to contact with me through mail and after discussing i'll just give you that i mean i'll give you its full access for modification or for anything okay so first of all what I have to change. I, I have to do give here height of the building here. So, as per or the grid line, you know that this is six, and uh, for that one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Here one, two, three. That is thirty, and that is six. I mean thirty-six. What is the total height of our building? Thirty-six. All right. Now uh, select the location. So here you have to select the location where your building are constructed. So here I will just give here Dhaka, okay, capital of Bangladesh. I will just give here now occupancy factor. I will just give here occupancy factor. I am just considering that is two, okay. And exposure type I will just give here exposure type like okay two, and I will just give here occupancy factor that is three, okay. And here a structure type for Kelly, okay. So which type of types of a structure actually that is from here you are able to select that uh, type okay so here uh, this is you can select any of it so I'm just selecting for building compound arts then that one that one then wind for resting system building main wind for then be, uh, oh, I'm just selecting that one, okay. Buildings, components, and carry. So after that, topographical for topographical factor, okay. Just you have to give it the topographical factor. I'm just giving one, okay. Here I'm just giving one as a topographical factor, and here the important thing, length of the length of the building along x direction, okay. Length of the building along x direction, okay. Along x direction, how much? What is the length of the building? So, uh, in our previous lecture, I have just calculated, but if I come here, if I right click, then edit grid system and go main data, then we'll be able to find out that. Okay, that is that is in inch. So, I'll make, change that unit from here. I'll make it fit, LB fit. Then, again, I'll right click, edit, then modify. And here, we'll be able to see the total distance okay i mean that line that is 69.69.33 okay along x direction that will be 69.33 right and um, along y direction what will be that is and 21.1616 uh 1667 okay so that is almost along just 21 point one six six seven right and here wind direction for which wind direction we are uh, designing that so first of all I'll just come here in software I'll just close everything and here I'll come here define the load pattern then I'll select 
wind x direction for first of all i'll uh, define for wind x direction and that's why i'll select the wind direction perpendicular to y wind direction perpendicular to y that means x direction okay perpendicular to y means x direction and uh, its degree will be zero okay so i'll just go ahead modify and when it's done now we'll just give her every data here okay mile per hour or everything here so here the wind direction angle that is zero okay that is zero and wind or coefficient i will just give a 0 0.8 and that is 0 0.5 okay and uh, here case uh, i will just use create all cases or we can create one okay that's okay and here modifier show exposure width so here calculate from diaphragm extent um, I will use that option calculate from diaphragm extent then okay after that exposure height the program calculated right and here we have to provide that data here the main things here so wind speed what about the wind speed actually here wind speed mile per hour 146.96 I mean 147 we can consider 147 100 47 mile then exposure type okay what is the exposure type that is b exposure type b then actually here a b or c so b means the c because uh, it's it start from b c d so that would be exposure type c and uh, topographical factor k z t okay what will be that so kzt that will be one that will be one and here gauss factor what will the gauss factor actually so here uh, the gauss factor 0 0.8664 0 0.8664 and directionality factor kd what will be that so kd 0 0.85 it's okay right uh, 0 0.85 so our wall data we have provided perfectly so when it's done now i'll simply just see here they have option exposure from extended extends of grid diaphragm so we'll select the first one okay now click okay so that's done similarly i'll just give here wy modify lateral load i'll select i'll give here the winds direction angle 90 degree right and that will be 0 0.8 0 0.8 uh, and 5 here everything is okay we have already provided uh, maybe not uh, this is 1 for 7 and that is c that is uh, 1 and that is ghost factor 8664 and that is 0 0.85 okay and uh, i think everything is okay right after that i'll simply click okay and okay so finally we have defined every types of load okay uh, our dead load live load our earthquake load wind load every load we have defined perfectly as per definite code and from in i mean in your next lecture i'll just draw our structure and then we'll go for analysis and design and then we'll go for final detailing so thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next video and if you think that was helpful for you then please subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first